So Exercise Southern Catapo is the exercise we hold every two years. For the New Zealand Defence Force specifically, I think it's about um, confidence building, it's about our ability to say, look, we can put something together, we can do something, we can bring our unique style to what we do. Our operations around the world together reinforce why we have to be able to understand how to work alongside each other. That's proved key and very successful at Taji uh, for our work in Iraq, but even in the short notice requirements, the humanitarian response. It's much like we do when we deploy elsewhere. Uh, we very, li very little now do things by ourselves. Um, so yeah, it's been a fantastic experience so far. We are here to learn and we are looking forward to learn from our, from our brothers and from our partners. Um, I think the key for us is that interoperability. Um, as we've seen in the past with Ramsey and all other deployments, uh, we will be working together as a, as a coalition in, in the regions. Especially here in the Pacific because uh, of any uh, future natural, natural disasters or anything that might, might happen in the Pacific, we know how to uh, operate together effectively. Uh, we are neighbours and uh, certainly we are close at, at heart and a lot of our uh, uh, standing operating procedures, techniques of uh, doing things uh, are similar. You know, without a stable and uh, peaceful uh, region, we can't really prosper. The biggest thing that, that HMAS Jules brings to Southern Katipo is the, uh, the delivery of this amphibious capability. So I've, been, I've brought 120 troops from Australia, plus uh, equipment, that's PMVs, MOG trucks, uh, G-wagons, and, uh, and delivered them directly into the exercise. This is our first major exercise that we participated in. So in terms of, from introduction to inter inter uh, initial operating capability, uh, this is a massive leap forward for 35 Squadron operating the C-27J Spartan, not just in Australia, but abroad. So during the operation we were able to achieve a transition from stability operations where we were protecting the local population through to then executing a conventional offensive operation which was in the form of an attack uh, against an enemy group. When we next have to respond to an event in the region uh, they will know people at a personal level but it brings all of those elements together that practices us as a joint force but equally as a combined force in partnership with other nations.